Hi, this is Amar again from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how to successfully install an SSL certificate on WHM or Webhost Manager. So let's get started. So I'm logged in as root to my main admin panel on WHM and the first step in this process is to generate a certificate sign-in request and a private key. So what we're going to do is head over to your browser and type in SSL Trust CSR Generator. Once you do that, you can just click on the first link that pops up. And then we can now enter a few details here to generate our certificate sign -in request and our private key. So basically, a certificate sign -in request or a CSR is uh, nothing but a request initiated by you the client to the certificate authority which contains all the necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So now we're going to type in our domain name right here. The name of your organization, the organization unit such as IT, your locality or the city that where you reside, then your state or province, choose your country, and then type in your email address. So root length, we're going to go with 2048 bit, which is the industry standard, and click on generate CSR. Scroll down, and you should see your private key and your CSR right here. So it is recommended that you store this in a safe location, so that if you have any problems with installation, you can always reissue or reconfigure your certificate. So what we're going to do now is save it in a safe location. And then the next step in this process is to purchase and configure our SSL certificate. So now I'm going to head over to sltrust.com.au and as you can see, SSL Trust has established partnerships with all the leading certificate authorities and we offer SSL certificates for all of your needs, whether you're a small business and you just want a single domain SSL certificate, whether you're organization and you want to show higher authenticity and security, just the business SSL, and for organizations who want to show the green address bar and much more, they can go for the premium extended validation EBSSL. Then there's wildcard SSL certificates to secure unlimited subdomain names and multi-domain certificates to secure up to 500 domains with a single multi-domain certificate. If you don't know which certificate is the best for you or your business, then you can always contact our support team and they'll be happy to help you out. So for now, let's go to SSL certificates and click on standard SSL certificate. Then scroll down. Let's go with the comma repository SSL. Click on buy now. Choose your duration. Click on buy SSL. Scroll down. Click on checkout. And then fill in your details real quick. Generate a password if you're not a member yet. And then choose your preferred method of payment. And then you can click on complete order. Once you've purchased your SSL certificate, you then head over to SSL Trust. Head over to the account panel. Click on login. Login real quick. And you can see your purchased SSL certificates right here. So just click on that. And then click on start certificate configuration or alternatively you can provide the following URL to the person doing this configuration for you otherwise for now we can click on start certificate configuration scroll down and now head back to the page where we generated the CSR scroll down and copy your certificate sign request from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes. 
and then head back to the configuration window and paste it right here. Scroll down, click on verify CSR. And if these details look just like you input it, then we're good to go. Server type, we're going to go with WHM cPanel and click on next step. Now, just fill in your details real quick. And if you have a technical individual doing this for you, please fill the details here. Otherwise, we're going to use admin contact and click on next step. Now comes the important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. So what we're going to do is there's three or four methods of validation. Now the first one or the easiest one is the email validation method. So basically you need to have an email address with this exact address and you'll be sent an email upon which when you click on should open a link which should then validate your domain name. Now the second method is the HTTP file method. So basically you need to create a text file with this name and then you'll need to create a few directories if they're not already there. And in that text file, you need to paste these contents and then click on the check file button to make sure that the file is uploaded on your server and is readable by Sectical. Now the third or the easiest method that we're gonna use is the CNAME record validation method. So basically, we need to head to our DNS settings either with our domain name provider or a hosting provider depending on where you've got your name server set. So what I'm going to do is head over to my DNS settings and then click on add new record, type CNAME, come back to the configuration window and copy the CNAME record value and paste it right here and the CNAME value, copy and paste it right here. Click on save, come back to your configuration window and click on the check DNS record button right here. Click on search and now this should take a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS service propagation speed. So we'll just wait for that to happen. In the meanwhile, come back to the configuration window and click on submit configuration. Now, as you can see, our configuration was a su success. This is our order number and our status is that we're awaiting validation. So click here to access the validation manager. And now you can click on domain control validation, scroll down, choose your method of validation that you had proceeded with and click on submit and recheck to refresh things on Sectico's end. But just in case, let's close this up and you're lost and you cannot find the validation manager, you can head back to the dashboard, select your SSL certificate that you've purchased and click on the access validation manager button right here. So to head over to our data settings, click on search. And as you can see, it has propagated in a few places. Now let's wait for it to propagate in a few more and then we can collect and download our certificate. Okay, so our DNS record has propagated in enough places and our certificate has been issued. So let's close this up and then head over to the SSL Trust dashboard. Select your SSL certificate and then click on the collect or download certificate button right here. And now what we're going to do is scroll down and click on copy to clipboard on the first SSL certificate. And now we're gonna move on to install the certificates on our server on WHM. So head back to WHM, log in as root, and then search for SSL slash TLS, and then click on 
the install and SSL certificate on domain right here. Scroll down, type in your domain name and paste in your certificate right here. What we're also going to do is copy and paste our private key. So either from the certificate collection window or from text file, wherever you save this, copy from the very start to very end, including all the dashes and paste it right here. Now what we're going to do is head back to the certificate collection window and copy the intermediate certificate and paste it right here. So once you've done that, click on install. And as you can see, our certificate has been successfully updated. So what we can do now is, let's close this up, open a new tab and type in https colon double slash sslguides.com.au with the port 2087. So as you can see, our connection to the site is now secure and our certificate is valid. So what we can do now, let me log in real quick. The SSL certificate is functional and our site is now secure. So what we can do further on is head over to a website called ssllabs.com and copy the URL of your website or your domain name and paste it right here and click on submit. So this should test our SSL configuration if everything is okay or not. So we're gonna wait for the test results real quick. Okay, so we're done with the SSL Labs test and it looks like we have got an overall rating of A and everything looks good including the cipher support and the key exchanges so everything's good so basically if you get an overall rating of a this means that the, your ssl certificate is configured to the best industry practices and your site is now super secure so this is how easy it was to install an ssl certificate on whm or web host manager now you can find a routing guide in the very description of this video and if you have any questions please put them in the comments below now if you were easily able to install your certificate please give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching